Hi guys, welcome to a very, very special video by myself and Oliver Rowland. That's right, a professional Formula E driver. He's going to be teaching me how to drive in a racing rig on Formula E on the game R Factor 2. It's going to be very interesting. I'm going to get some hints and tips of him. And then I'm also going to be going head to head with him uh, in Berlin. Yeah. The place where he did an absolutely fantastic overtake and won the race. Now, if you guys don't know what the uh, Formula E Race at Home Challenge, the ABB Formula E Race at Home Challenge is, I'm going to go over it briefly. There's eight rounds. We are currently coming up to the final two rounds on Saturday and Sunday. If you guys haven't checked it out, come and check it out on my Twitch. Um... We're going to be co-watching it, uh, the, the final round, seeing who can pick up the final championship points, with double points being on the Sunday. Um, obviously, I've got my favourite. You guys in the Twitch chat have got your favourite as well. And hopefully, you guys from YouTube come over and watch it 3.30 every day over the weekend. Um, this video is sponsored by the ABB Formula E as well. Um, and we've thoroughly enjoyed our way into the racing scene. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed all my time here. And they've set us up today uh, with a race. In a racing rig. Not in here, guys. You're going to be in my living room. It's going to be a bit of fun. Um, and it's all in support of UNICEF, guys. It all goes to a good cause. The link to make any donations to UNICEF is down below. And also, you can find the link to the uh, official ABB Formula E uh, Twitch channel as well. So, you guys can watch it there without me there. But if you want to watch it with me, that link's also there as well. Now, let's go and get in with uh, Ollie. Um, hopefully, have a decent chat. We are going to have a decent chat, guys. We've already done it. And uh, we're going to have some fun. Hopefully, it can give you guys a bit of an idea uh, of what the racing drivers go through, the uh, comparison between the real world cars and then moving on to a sim racer. And yet again, a massive thank you to the ABB Formula E uh, for sponsoring um, this video and also lending me the rig to uh, to do something new. Completely out my comfort zone, but hopefully we can have a fun. All the social links, everything's down below, guys. Make sure you check it out and let's get in to what me and Oliver Rowland did on R Factor 2 on the Berlin circuit in some decent Formula E cars. Cool. So do you want to follow me? Uh, yep, yeah, that would be brilliant. Do you know the track yet? Oh, yeah. uh, I've watched you racing it before. All right. Okay. Um, which was fun. <laughs> if you turn, yeah, left. There we are. You got the pit lane limiter, yeah, you can switch that off. Yeah. So like general rule of thumb when you're driving, you wanna kinda of come outside, inside, outside. Um so on here you'd be entering on the right and you'd be looking to apex sort of roughly where I am now. Yeah. Which means you'll be on the inside. And try and hug the white line all the way here. Which should give you a good line for this right hander here. It's like a double apex, so not too, don't worry too much about the first curb. It's more just the second one. Then you want to use all the track on the exit. And again, once get all the way over to the right for this left-hander. Apex right on the inside of the curb there. And now we'll be flat out. Straight down. All the way down the straight. Yeah, so if you go flat now, you can shift up to second. And then we'll break on this first lap on the right hand side on the 150. Yep. So you see the board? Did you see the 150 board? Yep. I'm seeing a lot more now you're explaining it to me. Yeah. And then so get the apex. And come all the way out to the outside and then you can go flat again now. And then around the 50 board just lift off the throttle, no brakes. Into quite a quick left hander. Then this is flat out through this right hander, using all the track on the exit. And again, you want to break just before the 50 meters here. And you can shift back down to first if you haven't already. Okay. Then hard on the power, use all the track on the exit. We'll go flat out to the next one, shift up to second, and we'll break just before the 50. Shift down to first again. Then we're back on the start line now. And so you want to kind of hook the right wall as much as you can. And then you're going to see those boards again. And break just before the 100 meter board. 
And remember to hug that white line on the inside. Well, this is the longest bit of racing I've done without hitting a wall, so... Yeah. Even though that was really wide. <laughs> so you try going in front now. I'll follow you. Okay. Go as quick as you want to go. So, it's... so this is that sharp left. And then we're flat out from now. And remember that 150 board which is on your right hand side. You want to get to the right hand side a bit? Break now, yeah. That's good. Come all the way out to the right. Then you've got a left hander here, which is fast, so no brakes. Keep the throttle on a bit like this, yeah. And then you go flat through this right hander. Keep the left wall. Come to the left wall. Now brake just before 50. Down to first. Now power hard. That's one of the difficult things I'm finding is um, oh, is the gears. The gears moving between one and two. Yeah, to be honest, it's it's not really much slower just to stay in second. So if you want to stay in second, then that's fine. The first just gives you slightly more acceleration. So we'll stay in second now, the whole lap. Okay. So are you in second now? I am, yeah. yeah. The lap was a 138.86. And that's getting tight. Getting tight here. Oh, there we are. <laughs> so, sorry, I had an announcer in my ear. Terrified me. All right. <laughs> that's Ooh. good. We're five seconds up on this lap, so we're doing a bit better. All right, so remember to hook the right hand side wall. Yeah. Yeah, so stay in second now, don't bother shifting okay. down. Break around 100 now. Stay in second, don't worry about shifting down. Power hard, hold the right wall here. So we've got a left hander coming up. Now just lift, no brakes. Okay. Yeah, that was good. Flat out. Keep the left wall and brake just before the 50 board. Yeah. You can afford to break a little bit harder than that. I'm scared. We were 10, oh. ten seconds. <laughs> it doesn't hurt if you crash, so you'll be fine. It hurts my hands. I'm not used to this. I'm usually a, a controller player. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you play a lot of FIFA? I do, yeah. Yeah, that's my primary game. Not, not very well, yeah. but I do try. It's getting big, though, isn't it? All these online gaming... That was a 136.49. So hook this, hook the inside. Get right next to that white line on the inside. Oh, yeah. See you there. That's good. It's very good. Now we're going double right. Oh. There you go. Good. I, I have no idea how you guys are so close to the wall all the time. Right now, flat out. Just completely flat. Foot to the floor. Hook the right wall and break just before the 100 meters now, so we're going to break a little bit later. Break hard. Yeah, that's good. You see, you lock the wheels a bit there. Yep, definitely. Slam that one on. Hook the right, the right wall, and then just lift. Remember this corner, we just lift, no brakes. Yep. And flat out through here. And stay all the way on the left wall. And then we're going to break really hard. Oh, Ooh, too early. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> That's good though. You had a very oh, good, yeah. uh, very good race uh, in this circuit, didn't you? A few weeks ago, two weeks. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. The uh, the overtake was very nice. Yeah, it was good to finally get my first win. I were a lot quicker on this lap. So our previous best was a thirty-six. The lap was a one twenty-one point six eight. So remember to hook this inside here. Yeah. Double right hander, quite sharp Ooh. the second bit. It's good. Remember to get all the way to the inside here. So break inside, inside, inside. Yeah. So you're a bit wide yeah, around that's there. Wide. You make. 
How much pra- flat out now. How, how much practice do you put in on the sim race and when you're building up to the Formula E race? I mean, quite a lot now. I'm uh, to be honest. The more I'm getting used to the sim stuff, the more um, I'm practiced on all sorts of cars. But um, I think to begin with, I was doing like six, seven hours a day. A bit less now because I'm used to it. Oh, oh you're right. Yeah, good. <laughs> Nearly broke my wrist, but well, good. <laughs> Because I'm a bit more used to it now, I tend to just download the track on Friday and then do maybe an hour on Friday and then pretty much all day Saturday before the race is what I've been doing recently. Are you looking? I think you can do too much as well. You know, if you're, if you're um, getting tired mentally, you know, if you're trying to stay concentrated for too long. Yeah. Is it keeping your reactions up there compared to racing in a normal vehicle? Well, yeah, I think you the know, lap was, was a one twenty five point eight two. I probably do not thinking much about racing, but I think by doing this, it's keeping my my brain active in terms of racing lines. You know, trying different things, trying to adapt myself. So I think it's definitely better than doing nothing. Yeah. Whether it's the same as the real thing, probably not. But it's I think it's a good middle point. I think this is the first time I've done any driving related uh, activities in months since the lockdown came around yeah you know you don't get out much anymore i'm the same i think i drove my car because the shops are so close here i drove my car for the first time yesterday in probably two and a half months so with the weekend coming up for the championship weekend how are you looking forward to it two races saturday one sunday (laughs) yeah two races on the saturday and sunday i think I think I do, I've got a bit of momentum now, you know, I had a, a good result at the weekend, uh, third again. Um, I'm kind of not really there in the championship, but, you know, who knows? I think there's double points maybe on Sunday, so yeah, that can make quite a big difference. Um, you, you are actually still up, you're, you're in fourth position, so you could... Yeah, I'm, I'm up there, but to win it, you know, it's, I, I think I'm 40 points behind the top two. So it takes, that was you know, a 122.18. To be honest, I'm just going to go and have fun and try and win both races on Saturday and Sunday and see where we end up. Yeah, and you're representing Great Britain as well. Absolutely, you have to yeah. That one. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to be watching? Yeah, I, I've been watching every single round. Um, one to six. I watched this past weekend as well. You had a good battle on the uh, on the Saturday as well. Yeah, I had a good scrap with Pascal and Neil. It was, uh, yeah, it was pretty funny to be fair. Um, obviously, I messed up qualifying a little bit, so I started much further back than where I wanted to. Um, but luckily, you know, Pascal got his penalty, so he ended up with me on the grid, and we battled our way through. And then, yeah, we had a real good ding dong for a uh, second in the end. It was good fun. Well, one of the people who I've been um looking to get his first win was Van Dern this past weekend and as thankfully got it he's been uh, yeah it, it's been an absolute mess in the first two corners usually with the uh, on the driver's grid yeah. um so, so myself and all the viewers have been really looking forward to it <laughs> just seeing it yeah. and, and this time thankfully we saw um Stoffel go through but yeah but this is this is also like my first way into motorsports I've not really that was a 127.93. Um, had any interest in uh, motorsports, but doing this with the Formula E has been fantastic. Yeah. Ooh, there's definitely a penalty there. <laughs> Do some donuts. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a perfect way in for a lot of people. And, you know, the thing with esports is they're very accessible. So, you know, not everybody can go out and start off their career go-karting and because it's an expensive sport as yeah, well it is. So it's uh it's a really good platform to to get started and to get into things it was it was nice of formula e to uh to loan me this rig i think it's the one which you guys have been based on as well it's fantastic yeah it's the same one yeah so i just i actually just checked your instagram i saw you had the same oh, one yeah. To be honest, a lot of us have like, you know, invested on a bit of a bigger screen and things like that to try and up our performance. Yeah. As it, how many how many yeah. screens do you have? Just one, but 
I think the one you've got is maybe 32 inches. Um, but I got the, the 49 Samsung one. Just gives you a little bit more peripheral. Yeah. On the outside. Yeah, I think it's so Stoffel's. It's like hooked around him like an actual car. That's nice. Yeah, so he has three of one of mine. So he's got... He's got a proper... That was a 133.05. Shall we try a race? I'm... Yep, I am down for that. Are you live on there now? On YouTube? Uh, I'm recording uh, statically, so I'll, it'll be edited okay. out and, and everything else like that. Yeah. Uh, cool. Are we ready, guys? I'll put you onto the grid now. Yep. Yep. Yep, cool. Here we go. Attention, grid. You're all non-essential personnel. Leave the grid now. So I think you just go click race. Yeah. There we go. So how we do the starts normally is, I think if you go flat out, and then when the when he was talking about the fifth light, when the lights go out, you click first gear. All right. So you don't go into gear until you see the light. No. So stay in neutral. And then that's your reaction is to click the first gear and it'll go on its own. Okay. And then you'll have to lift a little bit to stop the wheel spin. Okay. You can see the little countdown or not on the bottom of your screen. I think it's 25 seconds. Oh, yeah. That's it, yeah. So then I think we'll get five lights. So one, two, three, four, five. And then there'll be a beep and they'll go out, I think. Well, this is good because I'm the underdog. So if I somehow manage to win, <laughs> then uh, it's a win for me. But it's nice to be on the same track as you, race, racing yeah. out and seeing, uh, watching you guys race all every weekend and go against you. Yeah. Right, here we go. It's a good overtaking opportunity down into here. If you want to stick it at the inside, I could cover it. That was the corner where you did do the overtake, wasn't it? Exactly, you did yeah. to me what I did to them. Oh, oh. you didn't do that though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. It's alright, you're going to get a good exit. <laughs> with penalties along with it. So the last quarter now. Oh my dears. Oh. Oh, it's not bad, it corrected itself. I could have won that <laughs> as well, potentially. <laughs> yeah, you'd have got a good exit then. Yeah. The lap was a 126.66. Nicely done, let's go for another race, shall we? Yeah, yeah. that's nice. Attention, Greg, you're all non-essential personnel, leave the grid now. So you got the start bit okay, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. Cool. I had to correct myself a little bit, but yeah, it seemed to work. Is this a race now? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we are going to go into a race. Just Can we switch the grid? Literally just doing that. Perfect. Okay, so you should be good now. I thought I'd heard you click a gear before the lights went out on the last one. Oh, you did. Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> and then I, then I corrected it, but thankfully it never uh, never went off. Yeah. When you're doing your practicing through the week, are you racing against the other drivers which are in the, in the grid at the weekend? Yes. Yeah, so, is it just by yourself? So how we do practicing is actually the guys who set this up for us, they'll do us like a practice server so all the drivers can log in with a password and we'll just do practice laps and you can see the lap times. What people have tended to do now a little bit is hide 
in their own sessions a little bit. <laughs> so we can't see them because we can watch what they do if they come in the official session. Yeah. So here we go. Five lights and then out. <laughs> it's completely different with someone chasing you behind you. I've gone really wide there. Oh, give you a little nudge. Seen plenty of that in the Formula V e racing. <laughs> yeah, you got to get your elbows out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing well? Just there. Uh, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. <laughs> I won't be like this in a normal race. Oh, oh no, oh, I've lost it. There we go. Come on, I wait for you. I'll give you the chance to pass me the last corner. <laughs> you got to get the inside. There we are, guys. So if you don't know what that was... Go on, give me a nudge. That was... Oh. There we are. <laughs> oh. hey, have, have I got it? Have I got it? <laughs> that was a 127.22. <laughs> it's very, very easy to decide to go onto the accelerator rather than the brake. Yeah. I mean, you know, we've I've done this since I was a kid, so... Did, did you start off in karting? Yeah. I actually have my own go-kart team now for kids. Oh, nice. To, uh, so I kind of help them try and get to where I am, I suppose, in theory. Okay, there guys. So should we go for another race restart? Um, I don't know who actually won that one. It was very close. Yeah. <laughs> we'll say me. We'll make it 1-1. One, one. To, to be fair, <laughs> I think it was. To be honest, uh, I think it was. I think you did well on that one. Uh, right, okay, let's uh, let's go for a restart then. Attention, grid, all non-essential personnel leave the grid now. Hey okay, you guys should be able to join the grid now. So it's one one, yeah. Yeah. Even though I can tell you're letting me uh, <laughs> letting me catch up. It's nice. Oh, you're Great. Conf again. Confidence build. Confidence builder. Exactly. <laughs> With the weekend coming up, how are you practicing for Saturday and then Sunday? With it being the championship on the Sunday, you, I know you got Berlin on um, Saturday, but do you know who what, where you are on Sunday? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I actually don't really know hundred percent. I think it's what it's Berlin and New York, isn't it? So oh yeah, I yeah. I think it's actually New York Saturday, Berlin Sunday, um, or that the other way around. You know, I think once the race is done on Saturday, then switch over to the other track. Um, you know, full focus on the first race first. Um, it's not really something I've thought about too much yet. Oh, oh no. I've done it. Have you got a penalty? Uh, we'll probably see after you win this race. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that that was intentional blocking off there, Stuart. Fine to me. <laughs> <laughs> Have we got a protest form for the jump start? <laughs> I don't think anyone saw it. <laughs> oh, oh, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I drifted. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. In a I'm gonna wait for you. I'll let you go. I'll okay. have to try and pass you back for the end. I'm risking it here because if I don't win this one. So this is the best ever finish for me here. Oh. Oh. Ah, it's too easy for you that.
Oh, no. No, 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 I had it, I had it as well. You did. I wasn't going to get you back. Well, there you have it. That was a 129.95. Bit of a lick the stamp and send it, that was. Yeah, it was, it was, it was fun. And that, my friends, is that. Me versus Oliver Voland on Formula E R Factor 2 Sim Racing. He helped me a hell of a lot. I won't lie. He was absolutely fantastic. We had a few technical issues, guys, both with his camera and my camera. The weather was really hot, you know, overheating, all that good stuff. Thankfully, none of the cars did, and we're all golden for that. Now, with that, guys, we are coming up to the final stages of the Formula E Race at Home, the ABB Formula E Race at Home Challenge in Sport UNICEF. If you guys want to come watch it, it's on Saturday, 3.30 p.m., and also also Sunday for the championship finish and there's some double points up for grabs as well so a massive thank you to yet again Formula E for sponsoring the video uh, massive thank you for Oliver taking time out of his day to helping me and uh, who knows you might see me inside a racing rig in the future but it's been fantastic we are ready to go let's go and see who walks away with the ABB Formula E race at home championship tomorrow and Sunday <laughs>